Hey guys, I'm Chief Eric, and today we're going to be building a uh, wizard model rocket. Uh, you're not going to be able to launch this rocket, but we're still going to have a lot of fun and, uh, you know, learn some skills that are good for life. <laughs> so into your camp in a box, you're going to have uh, all your rockety kind of stuff in a bag, but you're going to also need some stuff from around the house to build your rocket. So some recommended materials are sandpaper, uh, pencil, X-Acto knife, or some other bladed tool to cut out your rocket fins. Um, some scissors, some tacky glue for the uh, fins to the body, and some plastic cement for the uh, nose cone. If you don't have that, you can still use the tacky glue. It'll stick. And then uh, a ruler. Uh, parental supervision for this build is recommended. <laughs> so in your model rocket kit, you're gonna find one of these bad boys. These are the instructions. You don't need them. I'm right here. <laughs> Just kidding, you can look at them. They're pretty good. But the first step for building this rocket is to uh, assemble the nose cone. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your plastic cement, preferably, or glue, if you don't have it, and you make a huge mess out of it first. Clean that off. And then you put some glue around the X outside of the uh, bottom part of the nose cone, which you'll find in the uh, little baggie inside the bag bag exception. Anyway, so you put that guy inside your nose cone with the glue on it, well, the plastic cement, and you stick it in there, let it dry, set it to the side, you'll be good to go later. It's pretty sick. Well, you guys are over here now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyway, now we're gonna get the fins out of the uh, wood. It's gonna be great. So what you can do is you can use your X-Acto knife, this or other similar bladed thing, and you're gonna cut along the wooden, like where the perforations are, so the little dots, like along the lines, and you're gonna cut out your fins. So you should have three of them. They're gonna look like that when you're done. If they don't look like this, you've done horribly wrong, and uh, there's no going back. So just make do. <laughs> Okay, so now that you cut out all three of your fins, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna line them up all, you know, one on top of the other. And this step isn't necessary, but it makes your fins look cooler. And if you were actually launching the rocket, you'd get better results. So what we're gonna do is take the sandpaper that you have and uh, tape it down to the table, or just hold it down. Taping down's a bit easier though. And you're gonna look at the fins, right? Your fins are gonna go on the rocket like this. So if here's the rocket, the tube, your fins are gonna come on with this edge attaching to the tube. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sand what's called the leading edges. So the leading edges are this one, and you're gonna make it you know, nice and rounded, and this one too. So these two are the leading edges, and we're gonna sand them down, make them all nice and round. Uh, a good technique would be just to like, you know, take it and take all three at the same time. And with like kind of like a curved hand motion, round them off so they'll get the edge off. So we're gonna get back to you. So remember those instructions I told you to throw out? I hope you didn't, or burn them, because uh, we need them now. So on the front end of your uh, instruction guide, there is a little guide right here that tells you where to mark lines on your tube to properly line up your fins uh, when we put them on. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, cut this little guy out and uh, yeah, kinda like this. And then uh, yeah, so once it's cut out, it'll look like this. Okay, so what you're gonna do, is you take your little piece of paper and you're gonna wrap it around the tube uh, towards the bottom of the rocket with uh, this stripe side underneath. So once you wrap it around, you're gonna line up uh, the lines on the piece of paper that uh, show you that the paper is correctly aligned. And you're gonna take a little piece of tape and uh, just tape it right on there. So I'm making sure it's lined up. So clear tape works better, so you, so you can see it all better, but mm, this works all right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, mark, using this tube, we're gonna mark the lines uh, where your fins are supposed to go. So just a little line. So, so here's the fin, right? So we're gonna mark it with a pencil right along that line. Uh, 
So don't go too far yet. We're gonna straighten that guy out a little bit later. So mark that. Uh, mark the second fin. Uh, mark the third fin. And then there is a fourth line that you're supposed to draw. The dotted one on the tube is the launch lung, which is the little uh, cardboard cylinder that you use to uh, put the rocket on the uh, launch stand. So I would mark that one separately with the LL designation, so that way you know that's gonna be the launch lung and it's not a fin. So now after drawing your lines and removing the guide, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna line up your tube to the door frame and line up where your line is uh, against the door frame. And from there, you can use your pencil to make a straight line up and down the body of the uh, rocket's body tube and not mess up like I'm doing right now. Uh, making it go straight down and then you get a nice almost straight line uh, from the top to the bottom, which you can use later to uh, guide where you're gonna glue the fins and launch lung. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is mark where the fins go on your uh, guidelines. So the bottom of each fin is going to be up one centimeter uh, from the bottom of your body tube. Right, so for, for each of those fins. So you're gonna wanna take a ruler and a you know, pencil and mark one centimeter up from the bottom of the tube on each of the fin lines. For the launch lung line, you're gonna wanna draw a line uh, five centimeters up from the bottom of the tube because that's where you're gonna put your launch lung. So that's gonna be right there. So yeah, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the glue and you're gonna apply it to the side which attaches to the uh, body of the motor, uh, rocket. So what we're gonna do is take the glue, apply it to this edge of the uh, fin, and just apply like a little coating of that on. And you're gonna let it sit for a minute. So now do that to each one. And then after a minute, we're gonna attach it to the rocket. So now that the glue has uh, been able to sit for a minute, it's gonna get nice and tacky, which lets it uh, immediately stick to the body tube. So it might not be a perfect stick right now, but uh, it'll be not too shabby. So what you're gonna do is go to the uh, marks that you made, one centimeter up from the bottom of the tube, and put the bottom of the fin uh, in line with that. And then align the rest of the fin up with the line that you drew, so it's nice and straight. So you're gonna do that for all three fins, and then uh, wait for it to dry for a little bit by uh, a good way to do that is to turn the rocket upside down and uh, like so. So now that the uh, fins are on and dried, what you're going to do is apply glue to the launch lung. That's the uh, little tiny tube in your pack. Uh, and you're going to, you know, Put it on your rocket uh, after applying glue uh, at the five centimeter mark uh, previously made. So that should look about like this. And you know, let it dry. Okay, so now that you've let your uh, fins and launch lung have a chance to dry, uh, the next step is to uh, put this spacer, uh, this green spacer inside the rocket. Now this, this step is important because this is what holds the motor into your rocket. So if you were ever to launch uh, your rocket, this little ring needs to be in there uh, to hold your motor in so that way the rocket goes up and the motor does not just shoot through the nose cone of your engine or uh, of your rocket. So what you're gonna wanna do is you take this yellow tube, which is a spacer that shows you how far uh, you're gonna push this little guy into your rocket. So what you do, is you take this tube and you measure a quarter inch from the bottom using a ruler. And after marking off a quarter inch from the bottom, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is put a healthy helping of glue, uh, this is just gonna be tacky glue, around the uh, spacer, right? 
just a good amount. Uh, it should be like a fair bit. Uh, the last rocket I did didn't have quite enough of this on and the engine shot right through the uh, nose cone. So you want to avoid that. And you put this spacer on top of the uh, yellow tube. And you line it all up and you shove it in until you get into get to the black line that you drew a quarter inch from the bottom of the tube. So you want that to be uh, in line with the bottom of your rocket. Fun fact, you want to remove this tube out pretty much as soon as you uh, put it in or else it'll glue in there and get stuck and that's no bueno, so do that. So now that the body tube of your rocket's done, uh, you're going to work more now on the recovery aspect of the rocket. So in this system we have the nose cone, uh, this little elastic band, and the streamer. So basically what happens is uh, this rubber band will be attached to the nose cone, the streamer will be tied to it, and it'll be glued into the rocket body. So what happens with the, uh, the motors that use to launch these rockets is that uh, the, rock, the motor burns until it reaches the end of the motor, which kind of releases an explosive charge that launches the nose cone out of the rocket. The rubber band comes out to a decent degree, and then that releases the streamer, which increases the air resistance of the rocket as it falls, slowing how it falls, so that way it's safe and not dangerous and won't hit anybody in the head and, you know, uh, do anything bad. So in order to attach the uh, elastic band into the rocket, what you're going to need to do is on the front page, next to where that other thing we cut out was, uh, there is this little trapezoidal piece of paper that you're also going to have to cut out. So now this trapezoidal piece of paper, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to this elastic band with glue. So what you do is you put the, as seen in the instructions, which is pretty clear in there, um, you glue the elastic band to the second uh, section in the piece of paper, labeled number two, and then you uh, fold the number three section onto the number two section, add more glue, and then fold the rest onto the number one section. So. And that'll end up looking like this. So now that this uh, little assembly is assembled, what we're gonna do is put some glue on the paper, some more glue on the paper, and stick the paper with the glue on it down into the rocket about an inch and a half, and uh, that's where it'll be attached to the inside of the rocket. So about you know an inch and a half is about there-ish on your rocket. So just try to get the paper to. Uh, be attached on the inside around there. So now that the uh, elastic band is connected to the rocket, what you're going to do is attach the elastic band to the nose cone. You're going to do this by uh, just double knot feeding uh, the elastic band through the nose cone and doing a double knot on it. If you don't know what that is, just ask your parent. They should be supervising you, so that's that's not going to be a hassle. <laughs> so yeah. Now we're going to attach the uh, streamer to the rubber band and uh, to do that you can just tie a knot around it. So now that everything's attached we're going to roll up the streamer and the tighter you do it the better so it fits better in the body tube. Um, we're going to skip the next step in the instruction which is to add wadding. This is not included in your uh, kit or the camp in a box and is only necessary if you're going to launch the rocket. Uh, for your information all it does is protect the rocket from the uh, aforementioned charge from the motor that launches the nose cone out of the body tube to release the streamer. Hey guys, this was something pretty great. Uh, I'd consider it pretty tubular, and uh, who knows when we're gonna be able to do this again, but uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh
Thanks for building the rocket. Share it on the interwebs as you kids do. And uh, yeah, have a nice week. See you.